Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Over the last couple of days, we saw this rising wedge pattern play out. And as you know, if you watch my last couple of videos, I told you that this is a bearish bias pattern, meaning that it is more likely to break out to the downside, which we have now seen and have confirmed this breakout to the downside. So I opened up a small leverage short position as soon as I saw this breakout to the downside and that resulted in a nice almost 100% gain. And in fact, I did call this out in my free crypto discord community as soon as I saw the breakdown. So if you're interested in joining a crypto group completely for free, where you can get real time updates of what I think is happening in the market, then I recommend you join that server with the first link in the description of this video. So now that we have broken to the downside, what do I think is the actual price target? Well, I do think it is roughly around 60.2K. However, one thing we must keep in mind is that this is a massive level of support from about 62 all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. So in the case that we actually do see prices this low, then it is definitely possible we see a bounce from of this level earlier than actually reaching the price target. Because of course, just because there's a price target for this trading pattern doesn't mean that the price actually has to reach 100% of the price target. Now moving on to another trading pattern for Bitcoin, we do have this massive symmetrical triangle pattern that we have been taking a look at over the last couple of weeks. And in fact, as soon as I saw this breakout to the downside, I told you guys that the confirmed price target for this breakout was roughly 58,000 US dollars. And shortly after, we actually almost reached that price target three times. However, then we started trading to the upside in the short term. And just like I said in yesterday's video, as soon as we see the price break above this 67,000 US dollar level, that's actually when I will be saying that we can cross off this price target because the symmetrical triangle pattern will have been invalidated. However, as of right now, this price target is actually still active of, like I said, 58,000 US dollars. So we cannot rule out that this is still a possibility that could happen over the next couple of days or weeks or so. So to recap, we have this price range from about 62 down to 60,000 US dollars as the first price target. And then secondly, we have this second price target at about 58,000 US dollars. So those are the levels personally that I'm looking out for in the short term. However, these levels are of course not guaranteed. So in the case that we see, for example, the RSI momentum indicator reach oversold territories whenever the RSI moves below 30, currently it is actually at 41. So in the case that the price does move a little bit lower and we reach that oversold territory, it could also be possible that we will start seeing a reversal in the price. And in that case, the next level of resistance would be 65,000 all the way up to 66,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. Now moving on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows. First of all, on Monday, we saw a net inflow of about $62 million. And then yesterday we saw a net inflow of about $31 million of all of these ETFs combined. So we saw most of the ETFs being net buyers once again. However, we do have the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF selling about $67 million worth of Bitcoin on Tuesday. But as you can see, if you look at this column and we scroll to the upside, Grayscale is a net seller every single weekday because they charge very high fees to their customers, to the investors of their ETF compared to the other ETFs. And therefore you see a lot of people leaving the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF to buy into other funds or simply take profits on Bitcoin. So in total, since the official launch of the ETFs, when they started trading, Grayscale has actually almost sold $17 billion worth of Bitcoin. So obviously right now, a lot of selling pressure is coming from Grayscale. But even with all of that selling pressure, we did see this nice move to the upside since January 11th, roughly speaking. And the reason I'm telling you this is because Grayscale doesn't have an infinite amount of Bitcoin. So at some point they are going to run out of Bitcoin and that's when this daily selling pressure from them is going to stop. And right now this idea of Grayscale eventually not having any Bitcoin left is not a huge part of the narrative, but I do think that once we get closer a couple of months from now that it will become a part of the narrative and actually send the price of Bitcoin higher. However, this is of course not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and the data and you can do with that information what you like.
Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame. The first thing you'll notice is that most of the liquidity right now is to the upside at about 67.3k, which is also part of the reason why I closed my short position. But it was also in part because I just wanted to show it in the video here. Um, so do keep that in mind. I'm also making content here and not just trading. But zooming out to the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, this honestly looks pretty scary for those that are shorting the Bitcoin price because most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside where we have close to $2 billion right here at about 67.4K, but then even more liquidity, another $2 billion sitting at 71.8K. And then again, even more liquidity over $2 billion sitting at 73.2K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So I do think that eventually, although it may take some time, but eventually we're going to take out this liquidity at 73.4K. Now, this is of course not guaranteed, but I do want to say that I do think this is going to happen. Even if we go down to 60K, even if we go down to 50K, I will still keep the position that we will likely take out this 73.2K level because we are clearly in a bull run. So until I see a clear confirmation that we are actually no longer in a bull run, I will maintain this position right here, saying that we are going to take out this level of liquidity at some point. Now moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame. First of all, you can see we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level at about $4,000. And then after we traded to the downside, we then lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level right here at about 33.30. And we quickly traded to the downside all the way to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. However, at that 0.5 level, we did find some support and started trading to the upside. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that we broke out to the upside recently from this ascending triangle pattern, which I called out and I said we have a price target of about 33.30 here. And we got pretty close to reaching that price target with a move of about five and a half percent for Ethereum, getting within about half a percent of the price target. However, then of course we saw Bitcoin break to the downside from this rising wedge pattern, which kind of canceled out this rise for Ethereum. And now we are trading to the downside so now what can we expect in terms of support levels for ethereum first of all we have a small level of support right here at about 3120 but i do think if we get a larger pullback for bitcoin that it is very likely we actually lose this level of support for ethereum so in that case the next big level of support is right here from about three thousand dollars all the way down to 2850 but in the case that we do just see a bounce from one of these levels the next level of resistance above us is from about 3150 all the way up to 3250 and today there was actually some bullish news for ethereum because in the case that you haven't heard the ethereum etfs have been approved in hong kong so this is definitely a bullish event for ethereum in the long term and in fact it has now been confirmed that the etfs are going to launch on april 30th so this is definitely something we're going to monitor over the next couple of videos because last time the etfs launched there was actually a massive dip to the downside which started as soon as the etf started trading so if you want to stay up to date with the crypto news and crypto markets for Ethereum, Solana, and Bitcoin, then do make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Moving on to Solana, as you can see, we got rejected at the 0.786 Fibonacci level. And after getting some choppy price action, we did also lose the 0.618 Fibonacci level. So we quickly traded to the downside and in fact reached a price as low as $115 for the price of Solana, but then found some support, reclaimed the 0.5 Fibonacci level and are now trading to the upside within the short term getting a bit of a pullback. So now let's take a look at the short term support levels that you need to keep an eye on for Solana. The first thing I want to note here is that we had this upward sloping trend line. And if you just kept an eye on this, like I said in yesterday's video, then as soon as you saw this breakout to the downside, it may have been a good time to close out your long position because we saw a massive dump to the downside of about 6% since the point of breaking that trend line. However, right now in the short term, we are running into this important level of support for Solana 
which is sitting from about $150 all the way down to $140. And just like I said, when we were below this downward sloping trend line right here, I do think that even on this move to the downside right here, it might be a potential level where we can see a bounce in the case that Bitcoin also kind of recovers here. So taking a look at that, in the case that we trade below that trend line, then the next level of support below that is from about $134 all the way down to $125 for the price of Solana. But that's about it for the bearish scenarios. In the case that we do just get a bounce from one of these levels right here, well, the next level of resistance is first of all, this small level of resistance at about $160. But above that, the next big level of resistance is from about $166 all the way up to $172 for the price of Solana. Now, if you are interested in getting access to my free trading course for beginners, which is the second link in the description of this video, as you can see, already 58 members have signed up to get access as soon as I launch it. My plan is to start recording the videos next week. So if you just sign up to my Patreon, you will get notified whenever I upload the first videos of that trading course. Or if you think these videos have been helpful and you want to support me or give back in some kind of way, you can join my Patreon for $5 a month. So this is something different than the free trading course. This is just a way to support me. You actually unlock some bonus content, get priority reply in the comments of my videos or on Patreon, as well as get a cool role that stands out in my Discord community. So do check that out if you want to support my channel in that way. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.